guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are having a fun time with our hair. I have had blonde hair now for absolutely ages. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I love bold hair colours. I had pink and teal and half white, half black. Like, I like my fun hair colours. So Clairol got in touch with me and they asked to work together and I thought, what better time than to make my hair fun again? The collection I'm going to use is the Clairol Colour Crave Semi-Permanent Hair Colour and it's all about flaunting your fearless. So I have the pink here, this is called Flamingo and the shade Orchid as well which are lilac and my plan is I'm going to mix these together with a little bit of conditioner and we're going to coat my blonde hair and make it fun. Basically on the box it shows you the colour at the front then you've got this chart at the back so obviously I've got blonde hair, so I'm thinking my results are going to be in between this. So semi-permanent, it gradually fades in 15 plus washes, might last longer and longer or more porous hair. That is fully what I expected. Semi-permanent means it will last, but it will end up washing out, which suits me just fine as well. Yeah, I'm really excited. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the box. Whoa. And inside you've got instructions, a wee brush and gloves to add, apply it, and then you've got your colour. You've got your tube of colour. So I, that's actually quite a lot. So you get a big tube of colour. I'm going to mix a full one of these, I think. A uh, full one of purple and pink and mix it with conditioner. Because that way, it's almost like a kind of conditioning treatment for your hair. Which is good. And then, obviously, we've got the instructions here. Always make sure you read your instructions. Pro tips, colour may stain. Yes. Protect clothing while applying. Yeah, I'm going to change into an old t-shirt when I'm doing this. Apply petroleum jelly or conditioner around the hairline to avoid staining. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the colour into a bowl. I'm going to try it out with the brush, but I'm just going to use my hands to really like coat all my hair. And then dry hair with a dark towel. So basically, first thing I'm going to do is wash and towel dry my hair. Wear gloves and I'm going to section off my hair and coat it. And then once it's on, you wait for 20 minutes. Or for bolder results, you wait for 30. And then you rinse it thoroughly until the water runs clear. Okay! Ah! So it's kind of, it's going to look a little bit ombre on me. Obviously my roots are natural now and they're really dark. And then the ends are all blown. Now this is extensions. So I'm just going to dye my extensions. My own hair is actually pretty dark. I will add, if you don't want to dye your hair permanently, they've also got a range of like hair makeup, which is a really cool idea. So you've got Shimmering Rose Gold, Brilliant Amethyst, and you've also got Brilliant Ruby. There's actually tons more shades than this. These are just the colours that I got sent. Uh, I'm not going to use the hair makeup today because I'm just going to go full, full pelt. I'm going to go ahead and just dye my actual hair. But these are great if you're kind of wanting fun hair, but you can just wash it out. We're going we're gonna to do the, do the real thing. We're going to do the whole thing. I am going to go have a shower, wash my hair, and then I'll be back and we're going to put the hair dye on. I'll be back. I am so proud of myself. Look, my makeup's still fine. So, I've washed my hair, brushing all my hair. It's towel dried. I'm going to section my hair off and put it up here. I'm going to get a tube of the pink and the purple. So I've got flamingo and orchid and I've put on a really old black t-shirt because the colour won't show up on it and I don't really care if I get colour on it. I'm going to put a whole tube of each in the bowl and I just read up and there's actually a living, a living, a living? There's a living shade of semi-permanent colour and there's six shades of the colour makeup and I'm just putting in the tube of purple. Actually, I'm going to put half a tube in. It's quite a lot. And then the pink. So they look like this. So I've got the pink and the purple and then I'm going to put some conditioner and it just use whatever conditioner you usually use and I'm putting a fair amount in there and then I'm going to use this brush to start mixing it and don't worry if you've got too much product because it's better to have too much than too little. Jeez, this is bright. So I've made it this really beautiful, it's not as violet as before, it's got a little bit more warmth to it. I'm ready. We're just going to apply it bit by bit and make sure we cover it all. I'm going to use the brush. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to have fun here again. So I've painted it on and then what you can do is you can kind of look at that. So just make sure you get all your hair. I'm not going to take it right to the root because my hair's brown anyway. The little brush is actually really helpful. We're just going to do it bit by bit. Make sure we're coating the hair all properly and then I'm going to go in with a fair amount at the end and just really massage it in. I used to do my own hair all the time. 
and because I've got makeup on I've not bothered with I'm kind of holding my hand and then painting it on top of my glove and then massaging it in like that look at that done it's not actually that hard at all <gasps> I love it already we've done the first layer I'm gonna take my little clip and put it down on top of my little clean area once you get your little routine you get it's pretty easy and also if you think you would struggle get someone to help you it's not difficult at all because it's a fun colour you can see exactly where you're putting it so you can see if you've missed any bits as well and mixing it with a conditioner makes it kind of like a treatment so obviously we're leaving this on we're going to leave this on for like 30 minutes so mixing it with conditioner is like you're giving your hair a treatment at the same time as dyeing it and then I just kind of run my fingers down and massage that into the hair no more blonde and then I'm just going to literally whack loads more on top, massaging it in. I'm going to put some in a little bit higher up just to make sure I don't have any random little blonde streaks. I'm just going to get all my hair on the top, give it a little twist and then I'm just going to pin it in place. We're done. So it's all on there. It's looking good. 20 minutes for the colour to set and for bolder results you wait for 30 minutes. So I'm actually just going to wait for 30 minutes because I actually love the colour that it's turning already. So... 30 minutes and then I'm going to wash it off and we're going to come back and style it and see how it is. Woohoo! So I'm just doing a little bit of research so I can tell you guys what's up. The Clairol Colour Crave Semi Permanent Colour comes in 11 shades and then they've got a bleaching kit as well and then the Clairol Colour Crave Hair Makeup comes in 6 shimmering shades. So it's like temporary colour and it washes out with shampoo. This is really good for people that don't want to like permanently like, or se even semi-permanently dye their hair. This is a good way for you to try out some fun colours and then you can just wash it off. So I'm going to leave this for half an hour, wash it out and then I'll be right back. Okay, the shade reveal. <sighs> okay, so all that's left to do now is style up my hair. I love it. So I'm just going to style my hair, I'm going to dry it and then give it like a nice little soft curl. And then I'll be right back and I'll show you the finished, finished look. Ta-da! That is me done, you guys. I cannot believe how vibrant that is. I can't believe how healthy my hair feels. I think mix it with conditioner, obviously you still get the vibrancy. Um, and because it is semi-permanent, when you start to wash it out, that's when you start getting that really nice kind of pastely look to the hair. I'm actually really proud of myself because I, I was never the best at doing this, but I actually really, really love it. It's just the kind of change that I wanted. Obviously I've got my extension, so I had kind of dark to blonde hair, so that's how I've got that kind of ombre effect naturally. But it's so, I can't believe it. I love it. It's like a whole new head of hair. There's something about having colourful hair that just brings out the sass, doesn't it? So you guys, let me know down below what you think of my new hair colour. If you guys try it out, let me know how it turns out. I would love to see what the other colours look like. There's one colour in particular, I'm sure it's this one here. I used to have my hair teal and I was so tempted to do it again. But I thought I would go for my purple this time. I know that I love my purple. I've done it so many times before. But yeah, this is it. I hope you like it. If you would like to see more videos like this, then let me know more kind of hair vids. And other than that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!